Hello Sagittarius, this is your mid-November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals, so please keep that in mind. Also, uh, realize there's new energies coming in. And sometimes the old, the old readings will still apply. It'll still carry over. And sometimes we'll get a completely different energy, which they are changing again. But this is for mid-November 2018 Sagittarius, five-part spread. Sagittarius, mid-November 2018 Sagittarius. I do shuffle these prior and concentrate on your sign. We're going to see what the beginning energy is. Let's see what we got here coming in. Hopefully it'll be positive. Four of Cups in reverse. Now this could be a lot of different things, but it could be that you miss an opportunity or you just refuse to accept an opportunity that you did not like. It could be so many reasons. But it's basically just not having, you know, things that just not to your liking, you know? It's just that's what it is. Now in the past, you may be dealing with the Knight of Wands. This could be a fire sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be you or another Sagittarius or Aries or Leo. They're in the upright, but they have a lot of energy and they go back and forth. They're always busy. A lot, you know, their energy is almost catching. People like being around them because of that energy. Well, we'll see what's out in the past. You had good energy going back and forth. Busy, busy, busy for some of you. For some of you, you're just, this is the kind of person that sometimes doesn't like commitment because they got other things they want going. But it's the Knight of Wands in the upright. Why are you there for Sagittarius? You want a success, you were going for success. That's the Six of Pentacles, it's a great card in the past. Oops, something's trying to get out, trying to come out of burdens. These are the why cards. This is who you are and this is why. You don't like burdens and you want success. Obstacle, something from the past possibly, or you're thinking about the past too much. It could be also, sometimes it is someone coming back, but it also at times it could be reminiscing. Again, it could be an Aries, some other uh, decks, they think it's a Leo. It's in reverse, so you're thinking about this in reverse, someone from the past. It's an obstacle for you. Can I get another card as to why? Why is the Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands reverse there as the obstacle? You might have found out something about something from the past. You also may be trying to break free from it with the Seven of Swords in reverse. You leave it in the comments you want, what you're trying to, what this obstacle is for you. But it's interesting. Current environment. Also dealing with a possible water sign. Could be Cancer. Could be a Pisces. Could be a Scorpio, but I usually get them not as a Scorpio, not this card. Not my own personal readings, but everybody's a little different. But they're in reverse. And this person is kind of emotional, distraught. Sometimes they're depressed. They're not themselves. Things set them off pretty easily, and they get, they get to crying sometimes. But the Queen of Cups, why are you there in reverse? For Sagittarius, that's the current environment. It could be that someone just taking on this energy and they're just really emotional right now. It doesn't have to be a water sign. But the Queen of Cups, why are you in reverse and why are you the current environment for Sagittarius? Someone's not, intuition is off. They're not thinking clearly. They don't see things clearly. Because you got the High Priest about intuition. And the reason why the Queen of Cups is in reverse because maybe she's just not seeing things clearly with the high priestess. She's about mysteries and things not revealed right away sometimes. Okay, so why is the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess there as the current environment for Sagittarius? 
the moon. I'm thinking someone's uh, depressed. Someone may be a little deceptive sometimes, whether you're doing it or you're doing this to some, you know, like I said, like you're doing it to somebody or someone's doing this to you. Those energies can get back and forth. This camera is crooked again. It keeps on going back sideways, but I'll straighten it out in a second. But your outside environment was causing all this, possibly. Another person. You got a lot of people around you. Queen of Swords. Could be an air energy. Someone taking on that energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They're in the upright. But they're in the outside environment. They're what's what's it, what's influencing all this? Maybe someone in your life spoke up their truth, what they had to say. Queen of Swords does not hold back their words. Got the Queen of Cups possibly all messed up. Queen of Wands all messed up. And you're just wanting to have success. But Queen of Swords in the upright, why are you there for Sagittarius as the outside environment? Or what's coming towards them. It also could be what's coming towards you. Someone doesn't want to battle anymore. They're not wanting to fight, but apparently maybe some other people are and they're still arguing. You got people arguing around you. The desire is kind of desire is kind of went away or dispersed with this Queen of Wands. She's not wanting to fight. She's not desiring to fight with you or anybody else, possibly. She could be putting down her swords, or he could be. doesn't have to be a female. But someone's not wanting to argue and fight anymore as an outside environment. It could be what's coming towards you also. But you got other people around you that are really upset. you got someone from the past. Something may be coming out about that. Final outcome, you got hope. You got hope, you got the star card. Star card is in the upright. Why is the star card there as, as the final outcome for Sagittarius? They have hope. Why are you there, star card for Sagittarius? Mid-November, why are you there? Regaining strength it is because you're regaining strength. You're taking control. You're getting courage. Your health is getting, getting improved. Somebody's health is going to improve. But maybe you're hoping that someone's health improves. And I get another card for Sagittarius. One more card for Sagittarius. Come on. Hope again. You got a lot of hope, and you may actually get it's also like a wish card in a way. Because what you're hoping for, sometimes you can manifest. And you got strength on your side. You get another card, because all I got is two star cards here. And they're great cards. It's like there's a lot of hope and a lot of, you know, support there from the universe in some way, too. Strength is on your side. And I get another, one more card, at least. I got to get this called up, and we'll see what's going on. I may have to pull a couple of cards. And I have another card for Sagittarius for the two star cards and the strength card. Absolutely excellent cards. The two behind it are the Y cards. A lot of hope there. But over the Prince of Wands in reverse, this could be you. Because maybe you started out, had a lot of energy, success, didn't want any burdens. The obstacle could be <clears throat> something comes out from the past. Could have to do with the Queen of Wands, the fire energy. Remember, this also could be you, but I don't think so. But it could be, because you got a lot of fire energy here. But I'm seeing as someone in the past, why? It could have you turned around or they're turned around, because something comes out. Like I said, you can leave it in the comments. What you're dealing with is a Queen of Cups, someone who's emotionally depressed, and they can't see things clearly. What's coming towards you is someone who's not also wanting to fight, not someone's wanting to battle with you. They're not wanting to compete with you. They have no desire to do these things. I don't know who that is. You can also put that in the comments. But in the end, you have hope and you regain strength. Because this, in the end, was trying to turn you around with the Prince of Wands. Because you started off in the upright, but you, re you had all this commotion happening 
after the past, you know, the current environment, but in the end you regain your strength. Because something turned you around in the end and you're, tr you're trying to get it back and you do. Your strength in there. One more card. Because I want something of the, of the you know, solid, solid card. Wheel of Fortune. You're looking for your fortune. You have hope for it. You're gaining strength. Because something, like I said, turned you around. But things are becoming a lot better. And you're no longer fighting or, or trying to move on from things that you can't control. You're not going to fight. You're not going to just go away. And whoever's around you as the ending energy is just not going to go away and not work it out with you. There is hope in the end, whatever is going on in your life, Sagittarius. And you are looking for that fortune. And you may get it. But as you're reading, you're just dealing with a lot of people and something from the past. But in the end, you've regained strength, and I'm glad. And I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.